Welcome to Womack's Wonderful World Story Time. Today's story, children, is about me. A great story from the wonderful world of Poland. This is where she lived. There. Wow, what a magical place that is. And she's very concerned. And you know why she's concerned? She's concerned and worried. She's born without a black and yellow striped woolly jumper. Wow, is that nuts? Well, this is a great story because, well, do you want to listen to it? So let's get started with the story about being. In special trees in Poland, nests of bees are born in woolly striped jumpers all nicely uniformed. Look at Bee, all snuggled up with the other eight bees. They must sleep in nines bees, you know. I've just counted them. Well, there's two bees on here, over here, and they're snuggled up together. Oh, they're, they're sisters. Well, yes, they are actually, because all these are girl bees. I know that. And they're all dreaming of foraging in the forest, because that's what bees do. They have a hard day, and they sleep at night, just like you, and then they're going to wake up any minute and find that bee is a little bit different than everybody else. Ordered and varied, every bee the same, but one bee called bee, born differently, found difference, has no shame. I wonder what bee's going to think when she wakes up. Well, we'll have to find out, won't we? When she opened her eyes, Bee was surprised that she was totally nude. While everyone there wore a woolly jumper, leaving Bee really bemused. Bees live in hives with yellow black stripes. Why, everyone here knows that. Who would believe in a colourless bee with no jumper to cover her back? <gasps> She's not very happy about that, is she? And then the bee next to her, she's got one eye open and she, well, she's shocked because she's never seen a bumblebee without her black and yellow striped woolly jumper on. The others haven't seen her yet, just that one with one eye. The other one's having a stretch down here. She's gonna be shocked in a little bit, isn't she? And the other one, she's got her towel and her toothbrush. She's going for a little wash. That you do in the morning. Even bees have to wash and clean themselves, you know. Yeah, they've got to wash all of their six legs. Yeah, and they've got to wash their four wings. They've got a lot to do in the morning, the bumblebees. And the other one with the teddy, haven't woken up yet. I wonder what they're going to think, all these bumblebees, when they see bee with no black and yellow striped jumper. I mean, they won't have seen a bee without the black and white yellow striped jumper, will they? They've all woken up. All the bumblebees have woken up and they all know and they're all shocked just like we are. And they're looking at Bee and they're feeling very sorry for her. And you know there's a lot more bees come to see her because there's 12 bees come to find her now, not just the other eight. And they're all just as concerned where bees black and yellow stripe jumper is. They're all want to know what will happen next. Never before had a bee been born, not looking like everyone else. And Bee shuddered to think what others would think. So she looked for a jumper herself. <gasps> and everybody is shocked. Well, you would be, wouldn't you? If you didn't have your uniform on. Well, Bees, I think she's having a little cry about this. And all the other bees are really feeling sorry for her. And as she sets off, to find a jumper, they're all wishing her well. Go on be they're saying, go and find your jumper and then you can be just like us and not different. But it's not wrong to be different, is it? But we'll see what happens next when I turn the page. She lifted the carpet, looked under the stairs, tidied her desk and emptied her purse. And you see, 
the staircase, she's looking everywhere, and her purse is empty, no woolly jumper in there. And she flew up in the attic, and she searched her drawers, tried not to panic, and further explored. Well, you would, wouldn't you? You'd have a look, and you, you'd be really worried. Can you see? She's looked in the boxes, she's looked in the golf clubs, and she can't find the jumper. Well, let's see what happens next. Peeked into cupboards, emptied the sink, sat down and bonded, and had a good think. Where can she find her black and yellow striped woolly jumper? The cupboards are empty. There's a little teddy bear in that window looking in. Can you see that teddy bear? There's a teddy bear hiding in most of this story. See if you can find out how many they are. So children, B's having a really good think. She's looked into all these cupboards. She can't find her black and yellow striped jumper in any of these cupboards. Can you see them? Well, there's cakes and there's glasses and little rabbit and that horse. The other cupboard, well, there's a little car and a toy stethoscope. That's what doctors use. You can't hide a jumper behind them, can you? No. Well, there's no jumper under that rug. And she's emptied the sink to have a look if maybe her jumper was in the sink, but it's not there. And she's left a puddle as well. I'll need clean it up. So she's going to have to do something else, isn't she? What do you think she's going to do? Well, we'll find out when we turn the page. Then she knocked on the door of a honeycomb box and politely implored for the jumper she's lost to a queen a little bit cross. She can see through the honeycomb. It's a bit see-through, that honeycomb, isn't it? So you can just see the queen. Really a bit shocked at seeing a bee without her black and yellow striped woolly jumper too. I mean, a bit of a strop, I think. I think there's something wrong. And, of course, Bee's going to find out. That's good, isn't it? Well, she's about to knock on the door of the Queen's honeycomb box. And what do you think we're going to find? I wonder what's going to happen when she goes through that door. Well, we're going to find out. My spool was full, but I'd run out of wool of the colours to make up my yarn. And yellow and black are the colours I lack for the very last one of my swarm. That means the Queen Bee is cross because she hasn't got the black and yellow colours she needs for a bumbly bee's outfit. Her jumper. So the Queen's a bit cross, she's run out of the colours. That's why she's throwing a bit of a tantrum. She's only got red, green, blueberry, mint and purple, cream, pink and salmon. They're not the colours of a bumblebee's woolly jumper, are they? I've never seen a bumblebee those colours. What are they going to do? I don't know. Do you? Well, purple or red, with a lavender thread, I can spin whenever I like. And green with a hint of blueberry or mint, I can knit with curly white stripes. Hmm, you see, the Queen's offering different colours to me. She's offering lavender thread and purple and red, and she's offering green with a hint of blueberry mint. Well, they're not the colours for a bumblebee either, are they? I've never seen a bumblebee those colours. But she's offering them. The bee's thinking about them. I wonder what else the Queen will say. Shall we find out? Bubblegum pink, any colour you think, tinted with salmon and cream. Suitable colours for beautiful jumpers, but none for a bumbly bee. More colours. Bubblegum pink, any colour you think, and salmon and cream? That would be an amazing jumper, wasn't it? Hmm, but do you think it's an amazing colour for a bumblebee foraging in the forest? She would stand out a bit, wouldn't she? She wouldn't look like any of her sisters. 
She wouldn't look like any bumblebee on the planet Earth. So look at all these colours. Oh, there's blue, there's green, there's salmon pink, there's red. I can't see a colour, the right colour for a bumblebee, can you? Wow. Well, Bee's going to have to make up her mind soon because you can't be without a jumper for too long. She needs to keep warm. What we're saying you now is that she can have all these colours, but she still can't have yellow and black. There's a lot of problems going through Bee's mind. She sat on the floor and looking at all these balls of wool being juggled in the air and she's really confused. Well, I would be. Are you confused? What? Is she going to choose? All these colours are wonderful colours, beautiful colours, but they're not really suitable for a bumbly bee, are they? Would you like to see a bumbly bee in those colours? Even the Queen's thinking about it, because she is annoyed, don't forget, that she's run out the colours for a normal bumbly bee jumper. Well, she's got all these to choose from, hasn't she? She's got red she can use, she can use green, Blueberry's a nice colour, isn't it? Mint and purple. Uh, cream. Mm, what about a cream and pink? Or a salmon bumbly bee? Well, that'd be different, wouldn't it? And, of course, Bee has got her antenna all twisted, hasn't she? Because she's thinking about it as well. And that antenna, by the way, is really important for a bumbly bee because that's what they sniff with. Yes. So she can have all, any of these colours, but she can't have a normal bumbly bee costume. What would you do if you were a bee? What do you think you would do? Do you think they are suitable colours for beautiful jumpers for a bumbly bee? Look, they're very nice colours. What would you choose? Well, we don't know what bee's going to do, do we? Well, bees shuffle five legs. On no six of her knees. It's a bit funny, isn't it? Five legs, six knees. Now that looks a bit strange, doesn't it? What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what it means. That she's got six legs and she's, you know, and six knees. But she's only shuffling five of them. <laughs> so, now you know. Bees have six legs. But here we go. She fluttered four wings, sniffed three of her feet. So while she's thinking, she's fluttering four wings and she's sniffing three of her feet. And then she closed two of her eyes and opened just three. What does that mean? What's three eyes and two eyes mean? Well, if you count them on one hand, that means she's got five eyes and bumbly bees have five eyes. So she can close two if she wants and she can shut three if she wants. Then realise with a grin she's a bumbly bee. Whatever colour she be. Do you like that? Because it doesn't make any difference what colour she is, does it? She can be any colour she wants. So, purple or red, with a lavender thread, you can spin whatever you like. She likes purple and red, doesn't she? You can see her, and the Queen's looking at her, jumping in the air with a ball of purple wool and a ball of red wool. And green with a hint of blueberry or mint. You can knit me in curly white stripes. And you know what? She likes green with a hint of blueberry mint as well. Wow! And bubblegum pink, any colour you think, or a tint you can't even explain. Bee's very excited here because she loves the colour of bubblegum pink. So she's playing with all these colours, thinking, wow, there's all these colours to choose from. What do you think she's going to do? Well, we'll find out when we turn the page. I can forage the forest with everyone's knowledge. I'm a bee, and bee is my name. Because what does she do? She ends up with a multicoloured jumper of colours because she's a bumbly bee anyway, whatever colour she be. She solved it. She can be any colour she wants to be because you can if you're a bumbly bee. It doesn't make any difference what colour you are. 
you can forage the forest. Do you know why? Shall I tell you why? Because bees don't see the colours like we do. In fact, they go by the scent. So it doesn't make any difference whether she's got a black and yellow striped jumper. Because if she goes in the wrong hive, she might get asked to leave. But that's not through the black and yellow striped woolly jumper. No, it's because of the scent of the honey. The scent of the flowers or whatever she's been treading with them smelly feet. So if they go in the wrong hive, they might get asked to leave because of the scent and nothing to do with colour. Which means that a bumblebee can be different and there's no problem. So she's very happy and all her friends and the Queen's happy and Teddy Bear as well. You can see Teddy Bear really happy because she's got a lovely multicoloured jumper. Wow, what a great story. Well, I hope you liked it. And if you'd like another story, subscribe and hit the bell button. Because every time we upload a new story, then we will notify you. Tune in next time for another wonderful story from Womack's Wonderful World. Bye bye for now. Ha 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 ha!